Hi everyone, this is Tulio Siragusa with Dojo Live. I am at the Traverse 19 Conference, which is sponsored by Trip Actions. It's a beautiful sunny day here in San Francisco, and I am at the Midway. Today I'm talking to companies about culture. Specifically, I'm asking them what they're doing to build trust with employees and with their customers. So come along for the ride and let's see what we find out. Hey, I'm Sarah Dandeshi and I'm the founder of Ask a Concierge. For those of you that don't know, Ask a Concierge is a travel brand that I've created where I create travel content for my viewers. My history is I've actually worked in hotels for over 15 years as a concierge. And so I decided to go, what I like to say, beyond the desk and reach people that aren't just at a hotel, but are everywhere and globally. So as you can imagine, as a concierge, trust is very important to me. And when it comes to really reaching my customers, my viewers, integrity is paramount and also being genuine. And I kind of think the two go hand in hand. And it's, it's one of those things that for me, my brand is very much myself. So when I give a recommendation, it is 100% coming from a genuine place of enjoyment, of, of appreciation. And it's something that because it's coming from such a real place, it naturally involves integrity as well too. And it just really being real and open with everybody, it just it builds trust. So um, that's what I think is probably the most important thing. Hi, I'm Stephanie Nissen. I'm the founder and CEO of Travel Porter. Travel Porter started when an airline lost my luggage. Now I come from a fashion background and I knew I could provide a solution to provide a personalized wardrobe waiting for me at my destination. Now one of the things that's really important to me is sustainability. Our clothing options are rental. And another factor is that actually reducing luggage reduces CO2 in the atmosphere. And that is a component that we're really passionate about here at Travel Porter. What we do to build trust here at Travel Porter with our clients is really the personal touch. We get to know your personal style and your trip itinerary. And we personalize something just for you. We deliver that to your location and we love we love that interconnection with our clients. Hi, my name is Randy Figueroa and I work for Hapsen. Uh, we are a uh, artificial intelligence platform that's geared toward the, the modern finance team. Uh, so what we do exactly is we use AI to help customers audit 100% of their spend before that spend occurs. So that can be expense reports, supplier payments. Uh, very interesting and that's really allowed us to grow uh, exponentially uh, over the last couple of years. So very excited about bringing this technology, um, working with Trip Actions as well. One thing that really makes us unique is that um, our core value is that we obsess over the customer. And right from our leadership, um, our CEO and co-founder, uh, they did an incredible job just helping to build that feeling out across the entire company so that every business unit can really touch the customer to some capacity and let that also come inward to our company as well. Uh, so when you walk around Appsen, you see employees, everybody's excited to be there. It's a very fun culture. Again, it's all focused on how do we improve the customer experience? How do we help them uh, minimize any spend leakage? Uh, how do we create efficiencies? And then how do we help them to manage compliance as well in the organization? So it's a, a true pleasure to work for a company like Appsen. Uh, we're growing very fast. So uh, looking forward to, uh, to the future. Hi, I'm Allison Dean. I'm Vice President of Operations for Theorem. We're a technology consultancy based in Los Angeles, California. And the way that we build trust amongst our employees and our clients is all about um, continuous, open and honest feedback. Um, that's a big pillar for us. We actually have um, an internal product that we use called Onesto, um, which we'll hopefully be deploying um, to all the big companies of the world soon. Um, I think that being open and honest um, is really key to any business. Um, I mean, really, that speaks volumes about, um, I think, your own capabilities, the things that you value. Um, one thing we do internally for our team is we have a company retreat once a year. Um, we run a remote organization. So bringing all of our team members together in one location really fosters um, bonding, you know, uh, connectiveness. 
Um, I think that's also a key with our clients um, is being connected. So we do a lot of on-sites with our clients because again, being connected, feeling connected, feeling like you're bonded with the people that you're working with day to day is super, super important. Um, so maybe those are the big, the, the, the two big ones, right? Really being ultimately super um, connected and being empowered to give continuous open and honest feedback because I think that creates the best um, platforms, the best technology, uh, and the best companies. I am Elizabeth Abreu. I am the store designer and project manager for Chubby Shorts. We are a men's lifestyle brand based in San Francisco. We do swim trunks, full lifestyle um, for men's, women, and children. Um, at Chubby's, we have core values that are very important to us. Um, one of them is trust and autonomy. So with that, we believe that we trust all of our teammates um, until proven unworthy or undeserving. Um, and we trust that we're always putting the customer first, the company second, and ourselves third. Um, and if we're all operating in that manner, then we're doing the best job that we can. So that was a lot of fun. On my flight back from San Francisco to Los yeah. Angeles, I really started thinking about how difficult it was to find companies that it would allow employees to speak to the press. It was only a handful of companies that would allow that to happen. And then I started thinking, why is that? I've accepted that fate in, at face value for decades, but is that a question of trust? Is it a question of being able to trust the employees to co-create and co-participate and talk about their company, specifically their company culture? And is that an opportunity to empower people in the organization? For a long time, there's always the assigned individuals that can talk to the press and those who can't. But why is that? Why should it be that way? Shouldn't it be open to any employee? Why not trust employees to act as adults to be able to properly represent their company? Is that an opportunity for companies to create more trust inside of the organization by empowering their people? Love to hear from you. Love to hear your opinion. And until the next time, take care.